CDC Oversight Committee met earlier today to discuss what to do about Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine. This all comes, of course, one day after use of that vaccine was temporarily paused because of six reported cases of a rare type of blood clot. KTVU's Tom Vakar has been following the latest developments on this situation. He joins us now live with more on what happened during today's meeting. Tom? Well, the Oversight Committee wrestled with making some sort of a decision, but it simply felt it didn't have enough data with the J&J &J vaccine to reapprove it, even though the risk, serious reactions in six people out of seven million recipients is really very small. The Federal Centers for Disease Control paused the use of Johnson & Johnson's COVID vaccine two days ago. On Wednesday, the CDC's powerful advisory committee on immunization practices met to consider lifting that pause. The original reason for the pause was to inform everyone, especially doctors, and to instruct those doctors how to treat the rare blood clotting cases before resuming the vaccine. Johnson & Johnson felt that would be sufficient. The overall benefit risk profile for a vaccine is positive across the population for which it's authorized. The key question raised on Wednesday, does the advisory committee really have enough information about the safety issue raised or is a little more time needed? In the U.S., alternative COVID-19 vaccines, the mRNA vaccines, are available. And based on current uh, projections, supply of both vaccines are expected to be relatively stable in the near future. Now, the FDA is not likely to ignore the actions of the advisory committee, but the continued pause damages the reputation of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, to say the least, going forward. It may be something people just are very hesitant about. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, you have to imagine that might be the case, unfortunately. Tom, thank you.